we've all been there, wandering around our friend's super duper cool nether fortress and thinking, it's nice and all Jimmy, but what it really needs is a basement that traps you in the room with two baby zombies riding chickens. Mob spawners are a great way to grief your friends if you don't want them to be your friends anymore. The problem is that we've built this one in creative mode and while it works, there's not really the sense of challenge that the same mob spawner would generate if you were to be in survival mode. Wouldn't it be great if you could switch from creative mode to survival mode just by clicking your fingers? Well, you can! So Minecraft comes in four distinct game modes listed in the command menu as, quite helpfully, game mode 0, game mode 1, game mode 2 and game mode 3. So nice and easy to remember. Game mode 0 is more commonly known as survival mode. You have to oh, you have to collect resources, you will take full damage if you jump off the top of a temple. You have to collect resources, you have to keep your hunger and health in check and you have to fight mobs at night and more importantly the mobs will fight back. In order to access game mode zero, you would need to go into the command screen and remember you need your cheats switched on and you access it in the same way that you access chat. And we tell Minecraft that we want to do a command and the command we're going to use today is game mode, all one word. And then we just literally tell it we want to play in game mode zero and boom. We're back in game mode zero, we're back in survival mode. So we want game mode one. And boom, I'm in creative mode. So you can see my health and hunger reticles are gone. If I fall, I will not take damage. And I can fly and I can go into the creative menu and have all the possible resources available to me. So let's fly over here. Game mode two is adventure mode. It looks almost exactly the same as survival mode. You have your health, you have your hunger, everything that you would expect from a normal game of Minecraft. The difference is that you can't break anything you are completely unable to break the world. This can make resource collection impossible. You are reliant on finding things in chests to stay alive. Adventure mode would normally be reserved for special purpose-built maps. Game mode three is spectator mode. This is most commonly seen in UHC Let's Plays, the <clears throat> unfortunate dead spying on the living. Uh, game mode 3 enables you complete movement control over the camera. You can also, if I just come right down into this absolutely gorgeous <laughs> Ice uh, biome. What biome is this? Ice plane spikes. I like it. I've not seen one of these before. It must be a 1.8 thing. Um, <laughs> sorry. So if I go right down, one of the real perks of game mode 3 is that you can actually see all of the underground structures. And this is great if you are looking for a specific cave or mine shaft or even the stronghold uh, for your for your project so if, if for example I say I really want a mine shaft for my next project I can just go around here scrolling around 
until I find one, and typically I'm not going to find one today, am I? Oh, oh, oh the bedrock. Uh, never a mind shaft around when you need one. But you get the idea. So this is game mode three, and I'm just going to go right back up to the service. One of the problems with game mode three is coming out of it. It can be very easy to forget that you are effectively flying. And a common one for me is that I'll go back into game mode two <laughs> and I'll actually be about five or five or 600 feet up in the air. So that just a, a quick warning to you guys, if you are gonna play around with game mode three, make sure you're somewhere safe before you head back into game mode two. <laughs> lest you fall and die. And that is just, I'm going to, I'm going to get a picture of this for my, for my desktop. <laughs> Cause that is just amazing. Hold still please. Lovely. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have found this tutorial on game modes useful and entertaining. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified of future updates. And I shall leave you with footage of this absolutely huge mine shaft. So having not been able to find one for ages, I then found that all the mine shafts possible in this world had spawned in one place. <laughs> it's, this, this thing actually goes on further than my system is capable of rendering. This is just a leviathan of a mine shaft and what I'm going to do for you lovely folks is I'm going to leave the seed and the location and by location I mean a vague set of coordinates because I cannot find the entrance to this thing and then you too will be able to explore the leviathan mine shaft thank you and have a good day